What is up, guys? I cannot wait to get into my top 10 wide receivers in the NFL. This is an extremely hard list to make. I wanted to put 15 wide receivers on this list, but I managed to narrow it down to 10. Let's get right into it. Coming in at number 10 in our wide receiver rankings list is Allen Robinson, who has probably had the worst quarterbacks of any wide receiver in the history of the NFL. Hear me out. Listen to the quarterbacks that Allen Robinson has played with since his breakout sophomore season at Penn State. He's had Matt McGloin, Christian Hackenberg, Blake Bortles, Mitch Trubisky, and Nick Foles. Like, who is the best quarterback on that list? If you didn't throw up in your mouth a little bit listening to that list, I think you're probably lying. Despite this list, Allen Robinson has been top 15 in receiving yards per game in back-to-back seasons. If Allen Robinson even had an average quarterback like we saw with Blake Bortles for one season in Jacksonville, he would very clearly be a top 10 wide receiver in the NFL. And when we adjust for the quarterbacks that he's played with, he comes in at number 10 on my rankings list. My number nine ranked wide receiver is Terry McLaren. Terry McLaren has proved himself to be both quarterback proof and matchup proof. He is fourth in the NFL in receiving yards, and he's number one in yards after the catch. He has done nothing but produce since he entered the league, despite awful quarterback play, bottom 10 really his whole career. He's had a bottom 10 quarterback his entire career. If he ever gets a quarterback that is top 10 in the NFL, the league needs to be watching out for Terry McLaren. Coming in at my number eight ranked wide receiver is Keenan Allen, who leads the NFL in targets and is number three in yards after the catch. He has been the most consistent wide receiver in the NFL behind maybe only Tyreek Hill. He has at least 60 yards or a touchdown in every single one of Justin Herbert's starts. Number seven ranked wide receiver is Justin Jefferson, and this one is probably going to get the most hate and the most pushback, but hear me out. I think it's time people start to wake up to just how good Justin Jefferson is. He's having arguably the most efficient rookie wide receiver season of all time. He leads the NFL in yards per route run and yards per target. No rookie has ever done that. He's only to only two wide receivers have had more 100-yard games as rookies. Those two wide receivers are Anthony Carter, who had five, and Randy Moss, who had four. Justin Jefferson currently sits at three with five games left in the season. He's been more efficient as a rookie than guys who were the most efficient rookie wide receivers I've seen in my lifetime, like Michael Thomas, guys like A.J. Brown, guys like Odell Beckham Jr. He's been more efficient than all of them. Jefferson should be in the top five ranked wide receivers sooner rather than later. He's going to be a very, very good wide receiver in the NFL for a very long time. Coming in at number six is what I see as a young version of Julio Jones, and that is not something that I say lightly. This is A.J. Brown. He's been top 10 in yards per route run and yards after the catch since he entered the league. When he breaks out the smelling salts, the defensive backs should be very, very worried. Coming in at number 5 is Julio Jones, who has struggled with injuries this season, but he is balling out when he is out there. He is number 3 in the NFL in yards per target, and he's number 3 in the NFL in yards per route run. Julio Jones, a for sure Hall of Famer, one of the best wide receivers we've seen in the history of the NFL. Coming in at number four is Stefan Diggs, who has the sixth most receiving yards per game and the fifth highest target share in the league. The fifth highest target share, despite being on a new team with no preseason and no training camp. That is how you know Stefan Diggs is an absolute baller. And at number three, is Tyreek Hill, who has the second most receiving yards per game in the league. We all saw what he could do this past week against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He is also arguably the fastest human on earth, and this one's not verified, not confirmed, but can we please quickly, let's just show that clip of Tyreek Hill catching up to Damian Williams last season. Someone play that clip, please. So this goose has been following me for like five minutes now. Tyreek Hill can take the top off of any defense, and to me, you could make an argument that Tyreek Hill, DeAndre Hopkins, or Devontae Adams all could be number one wide receiver in the NFL. At number two, 
I have DeAndre Hopkins, who has five games over 100 receiving yards this season. He's got the third most receiving yards per game and the fourth most yards after the catch in the league, despite having kind of a down month over his last four games. The fact that he's been able to produce this quickly with the Arizona Cardinals, despite no preseason and no offseason on a new team, that shows you what a stud DeAndre Hopkins is. To me, he comes in at number two in the NFL. At number one, to me, the clear number one wide receiver in the NFL is Devontae Adams, who has the number one target share in the league. A whopping 33.2% of Aaron Rodgers' passes are going in the direction of Devontae Adams. That leads the NFL. He's also number two in yards per route run. Yards per route run, you'll hear me mention that stat a lot throughout this video. It's one of the most fair statistics to compare against other wide receivers because it adjusts for volume, yards per route run. To me, the marquee efficiency metric for wide receivers. Devontae Adams comes in at number two in that metric, and he leads all receivers in touchdowns as he has done in the past. Devontae Adams is an absolute beast and arguably the best route runner in the NFL. He's also the only wide receiver this season averaging over 100 receiving yards per game. Let me know what you disagree with in the comments. Calvin Ridley got snubbed and DK Metcalf. Do you think they should have been on this list? Let me know in the comments. I will be sure to get back to you in the comments. Thank you guys for tuning in. And we'll get back with our top 10 running backs in the NFL very soon.